course, immediately some people are going to say, well, how could a God of love create a place called hell? And how could a God of love send people to hell? What would you yep. say to that? Well, God sends no one to hell. If people send themselves there. The God, the God of love has died in their place and they don't have to go there. He's taken their game, guilt, their shame, their penalty on himself so they can go to and be with the Lord. Yeah. Uh, if people reject that, since we've been made, here's the thing, we've been made for eternity. Each right. of us, all of us, either with God or without him, we're not going to disappear. We're not going to you know, vanish. We're not going to be annihilated. So we're going to have to go somewhere. If we don't go to heaven, there's only one other place, yeah. and that's the judgment, the lake of fire. Do you think life and death are, are in the hands of God? Totally. And, and do you think that there's an appointed day for us to die? Yes, but we don't know it. The Lord knows it. He yeah. hadn't told us. Yeah, I think so. Because it seems to be that way, that there is an appointed time. We, you know, he knows when it is, obviously. Uh, we don't. But that's why we have to live each day as though it were our last. In fact, right. one of the great preachers, John Wesley, said to young preachers, he said, preach every sermon as though it will be your last, and one day you'll be right. And so we need to live every day as though it were our last, and one day we'll be correct.